Hello and welcome. We are going to be having a look at the new horses trailer. Super excited about this. Very apprehensive. Recent history, we've had My Wedding Stories, which has been atrocious, and then we've had Werewolves, which was fantastic. So we've got two very different things that can happen with this. I will be streaming on moment of release. Don't forget that I will be streaming on moment of release. So I'm going to be playing this with no sound on because copyright strike, blah, blah. So I'll put some country music underneath or something, some like <laughs> cowboy music. Well, let's have a look. So as has already been said all over social media, it's a remastered Strangerville world. And I can see that from this. I've tried not to look at too many pictures. Of course, I've seen some. I even shared one the other day. But yeah, as you can see, it's definitely Strangerville vibes. You can ride horses, so that's fantastic. You can interact with other Sims while horse riding. I like the animation on the horse's face. The eyes actually went bigger, so like maybe there's they're gonna show some emotion. The saddle seat is very cute. Maybe we can store some items on them. Maybe like the picnic basket almost. Um, maybe it might act a little bit like that. The ponies, uh, the horse's tail is braided and it's got bands in so it looks like that's probably customizable. Hopefully we can change up all of the um, reins and everything, different colors, different swatches, that would be nice. And obviously I would assume obviously can't guarantee i would assume the the creator horse is going to be very similar to cats and dogs i am going to take a stab in the dark and say we're not going to be able to play as horses like we could in sims 3 but this isn't the sims 3 let's try and remember their separate games and not make too many comparisons to better expansion packs so you can interact with other sims so that is cool they did just do a little wave horse ranch expansion pack let's see cowboys 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 everywhere um maybe these are new statues that we're gonna have in the game i will be very surprised if all of these buildings are usable this one in um back left looks like it's probably not usable at back end sorry it probably usable so you can kind of see which ones are usable just from the looks of them tavern tavern saloon style this is a working horse with the big hooves their legs are built stronger whereas this is probably a racing horse um so that would be interesting if that's a thing i'm literally saying whatever comes to mind um so this person is petting by the looks of it this horse while the sim is on it so that's cool that they're gonna there's gonna be lots of socializing involved loads of clothes i love the tip of the hat um look at this okay sims 3 world adventures uh nectar making um we got a wine bottle. Are our adult sims gonna be able to get drunk? Are we gonna have an element of adultish to this game? Oh my God, please. <sighs> Whoo. Are we actually gonna have real like moodlets for having drank uh, nectar? Because that would be epic. And I hope they remember to do that to some of the other adult drinks in the game currently um, where you're at the bar. That would be really cool if our sims could get a little bit drunk. I am loving all of the clothing options. There are so many clothing options and it doesn't look like they've forgotten the afro styled hairstyles either, which is so important. Like, I have noticed it with my Rosa from the Not So Berry Challenge where the amount of hair options that she has compared to my sims that don't have afro textured hair is atrocious it's absolutely atrocious tablecloth i hate tablecloths because they always glitch into the legs they've never in any game managed to have it so that the tablecloth moves i don't think i've not seen it anyway loving this bar back here it looks very saloonish <laughs> 
some pictures again i love these clothes they are lush these clothing options the hats i reckon we're gonna have more hats in this than any other pack and i think that is right let's see i saw a ghost i saw a ghost there there is a ghost in a cowboy hat do we have some lore please give us some lore i love werewolf lore it's so rich in law and I love it and I'd love for the law to actually like there's a ghost on the island in cats and dogs bring some of that in like let's combine the packs make the packs more compatible with each other so this looks like horse racing definitely horse racing horse jumping um yeah that whoops there's something going on there um with the ribbons the horseshoe there's there's definitely something going on here i love this i love the clothing options for historical challenges as well from some of the ones i've already seen they're gonna be perfect interesting patting on this horse there's a lot there's a lot going on on this horse again we're seeing another saddle um swatch there different hairstyle for the horse as well horse jumping there it is we've got stables we have stables there i love this 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 building looks lush we've got another vehicle in the background not the vehicles exist in the sims um it looks like they've got the playing ball again so they had a smaller playing ball in the sims 3 the building i think there's a lot that can be done with this building style as well from warehouses with these wooden beams making old warehouses barns beautiful homes um stables like there's a lot of ways you can work this lots of people i've already had liking in it to cottage living so i haven't actually seen any of the furniture properly yet but it wouldn't surprise me it would not surprise me if they've just reworked a lot of that stuff oh the, the horse knocked down it the horse knocked down the pole oh i love that i adore that um so hopefully that's gonna be a skill that they learn that the horses maybe learn but would horses be able to learn mm, so how would it work so because we can't be the horses potentially i don't know that for a fact maybe the sims are gonna let us be the horses but otherwise, will the riding skill come from the horse or the rider? So could it mean that you could get a brand new horse and put a level 10 riding skilled sim on that horse and it's going to do every jump like that? Or is it going to be more like a hidden a hidden trait that the a hidden skill that the horses have as well and they have to work together i doubt it that seems a bit too complex for this okay we got the ranch this is like a proper run baby goats and sheep of course i've seen those um screenshots already not seen any adults though oh there's a baby foal there is a foal there oh my goodness but maybe we will there's a baby horse there so surely that means like cats and dogs they have pups not together two dogs and two cats yeah anyway <laughs> i haven't seen any adult sheep or goats in screenshots though so surely that's get they're gonna grow up it also looks like more like a petting zoo so i feel kind of bad for cows and llamas and chicken well even chickens get to roam free but are cows and llamas can't roam free like the rest of the animals mm, that's a little bit sad i'm loving this design all up here it's so nice <gasps> yay okay so of course it is only a rework of toddlers interacting with dogs but and cats but oh my goodness adorable oops absolutely adorable i love it oh this is my favorite part so far oh my god i just this this image here oh so cute i really love this building behind i love these big windows with the um pillars and this fence going around it. i think it looks stunning um okay oh yes 
Okay, so that's that's toddlers hugging dogs. Um, that's uh, large dogs. So they're talking. Obviously, there's going to be social interactions in regards to horses. This horse looks pretty cool. Please say you fall off. Please say we have to learn to get on them. Yeah, okay. She struggled. Oh. Throw her off. Yes, okay. That is fantastic. That is super exciting. Um, for a couple of reasons. That's definitely, that could definitely be a skill thing. Maybe it's a hidden skill thing because I'd heard that word. A hidden trait. Um, so I have had that word thrown around. Oh my God. I really liked that um, swatch on the horse as well. These clothes are awesome. Maybe we're gonna get some more tattoos. That would be good because there aren't many, not that I really use tattoos, but I know that's something that gets cried about, cried out for in um, CC. Okay, this house is adorable. I love this house. This is so cute. I want to play with this sim. This is making me want to play with this sim. It's quite a long trailer. There it is. There it is, guys. Okay, there's a lot going on here and some things I want to pick out. These two, obviously a couple, seeing the pictures on the wall. We have nectar making. This was a skill. This was something you could do in Sims 3 Wild Adventures where you get in the bucket and you make different qualities of um, the nectar. That's really cool. Hopefully it sells really well as well. We have a mop and bucket historical challenge. I love it. Even if we can't use it, I'm glad we have it. Got some storage unit here by the looks of it. That looks really cool. New um, shelf and this, I called it, I already called it. At the beginning of this, I said a lot of the furniture is going to be reworked um, cottage living. There it is. <laughs> it's right there. Uh, the drawers are slightly different, but it's the same. These curtains, I hate these styled curtains. They never fit on anything, so I'm not keen. The wallpapers, I really like. I love this. Um, it almost looks like it's rolls of log, which I really like. So yeah, there's a lot going on there. It looks like we're going to be getting a lot of barrel styled um, uh, things for them to decorate the house with. Make it look like you have a storage area. Okay, she's they're talking while they're doing it. And she's going to have a go. Just come from the outside, but hell yeah. So that's definitely a skill. One of them was doing it really well. The other one laughed because the other fell over. So that's definitely a skill thing, I would say. Looks like that is really cool. I think it's going to go really grainy when I zoom in. But that looks really, really cool. That is potentially a cooker or something like that. I think that's going to go really well for historical challenges um, because it doesn't look new. Uh, this wood fireplace, adore that. Have we got some new trees or are they just adding that because they want people to get seasons? Um, maybe. We've got a barn here. I, I really want to see if the horses have barn stalls and how similar to The Sims 3 it looks. Um, yeah, this building overall, I think it looks good. Uh, it's going to be fairly bare. All the houses always are fairly bare anyway um so yeah there is that there's definitely some new trees in here i think i don't recognize some of these trees and bushes so maybe we've got some new ones of those um yeah they've just got some i am interested to see if these lambs are moving around the lot or not so it looks like she has a fear of horses I think she has a fear of horses, but she keeps trying to overcome it. So that's interesting. Maybe this person's giving lessons. Maybe that's going to be a career to give lessons to other Sims. That would be cool. Are there any careers? Would it be more like racing and stuff like that, being a jockey? I don't know. I'm excited to find out. It looks like she's got some new scarring as well. So maybe her backstory is she got hurt by a horse. Okay, so I was wondering if in cottage living there's insects and uh, pond things that you can put down. 
and they stay on the spot and I was wondering if sheep and goats were gonna be like that but it's coming over to her so she's scared of everything on the farm uh oh my goodness <laughs> Um, so yeah, she definitely has a fear of everything. And then other sims are going to laugh at you if you're not quite as country as they are. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love this behind. That's super cute. Um, these flowers and things, they're new. Ooh, that is a lamb you don't want to get on the wrong side of. But yeah, so it's nice to see that the lambs do actually move around. I'm thinking they're probably going to be like chickens where you put down their barn and then they're kind of tethered to that spot. They'll go back there if you call them, but otherwise they're just going to roam free. Still haven't seen any big ones. So that was horse poo. That was definitely some horse poo. Okay, so she's building a relationship now, giving the horse, uh, you know, apple. They like each other now. Oh, we've got bottle feeding! <gasps> yes! Oh my god, that is super duper exciting. We've got some new gnomes, so we always get... I Maybe we don't always get new gnomes. So yeah, this thing here that I thought was a cooking thing is because it's got a fire alarm above it, so that's good. Kids gonna... Scare? Play? I don't know. The, the the kid did something to the goat and it or sheep and it weren't happy. That's super cute that it's sleeping on the floor. It's the Sims 3. That is the Sims 3 um barn. Uh, the uh, thing. So they'll go in there. You'll be able to get them to breed in there. Well, in the Sims 3, you could send your horses in there to breed like you could with the kennel for the dogs and cats. Um, they will feed in there, they will sleep in there, that's where they'll live unless you let them out essentially. Um, this is super cute though. It, the, they are literally cats and dogs. Um, that's super cute. Look at all these outfits and the fireplace, that's so cute. I love this behind there. We've got a new um, clothing unit and bed. There's definitely a new bed. So it looks like it's all cow themed, essentially. So all of those beautiful cows from Cottage Living, they've, um, they're have they using their levers. Um, yeah, the clothing options look cute. I love this jumpsuit, that's super cute. I wanna see the front of this top. And I love this onesie and this like Red Dead Redemption. That's Red Dead Redemption there. <laughs> I don't know why, though. I'm definitely getting those vibes. Super cute. I love that. He's got a hearing aid, but we've already got that. We've got, like, this massive nectar. So maybe they sell nectar for a living, potentially. I could see that. Okay. That's a cool statue. That is really cool. These two together again. So I'm, I really do think that maybe she's a teacher or something or a rider. Light bulb moment. She's calling someone. She's getting her own horse. Wow. Okay. A lot just flicked through then. And I love this tail. I just want to see that again. Okay. You ready? Wow. Yeah, there is a lot there. A lot, lot there of different swatches. So it's nice that there's going to be a lot of customization. So she's got her own horse now. She managed to get her own uh, horse, so that's nice. Okay, so she's... Okay, okay, we saw a few different things there. So we've got this background, this part of the world. Then we've got another part here, which is more cobblestony. I hope they clip clop down the wall because I can just imagine some of the sim stories that people are going to be able to do and it's just going to sound epic. I'd like to know what new um, lots we have. This is cool and learning to gallop and stuff. Oh wow, look at that background, that wheel, that's cool. This looks like a, probably a community park. A 
having a ride again. You can just see the background it is so cool. <gasps> That's Okay. We've got some country dancing going on here. That is epic. All unison dancing. Whether or not we can actually get them to do that's going to be another thing because it's The Sims. Um, but I will try. When we re when we do this on release, I will be trying to do that. Don't get me wrong. We will be doing everything that the trailer shows in it on release so that we can uh, you can see if you're going to be wasting your money essentially. Um, love these new chairs and tables. They are super duper cute. Um, they're having a cheers so we can do toasts anyway. That's from my wedding stories. Um, the nectar bottles. So they don't take up much room but you can probably only put one other thing on these tables because of collisions. You've got a gardener potentially or someone that lives with them in the background uh, doing the gardening. This pack, cats and dogs and um, cottage living and world adventures. There's elements from like all of that in here that I can see. Um, Sims 3 and Sims 4 packs. Yeah, so here's the stable. So it'll be interesting if we can actually go in the stable with them because in The Sims 3, you couldn't actually go into the stable block with the horse. You just let them in and out and refilled the bale. But like, that was like uh, The Sims throwing it. it. Like it wasn't, you were your Sim wasn't going in there. So that would be interesting if we can actually go in with them. Okay, yeah, I love this. Please give me a wooden version swatch of this, please. Lots of things going on. We've got conversations going on. We have child with foal. We've got a bench here. That's probably just a under statues, I would imagine. And hay bales. There's loads of hay bales. So again, that's going to be really handy for all of the... Um, going to be really handy for all of the historical challenges having the hay bales and I really like these containers for the new plants they look like they look really cool she's doing some cooking okay there you go here we have so I I would say that we have some sort of racing training uh job for horses so she's got over her fear they are doing some really cool things. You can cheer as well. So that's cool. Wow. Epic. Going around the bins. People are cheering. So that's awesome. And she spent a lot of time training her potentially if that's a career. So that's cool. Pink horse, of course. Um, horses interacting together is nice. Dancing, drinking, it looks like a proper saloon, salon, saloon, I think it's a saloon. Um, oh, new piano, and the horse is listening to the piano, which is cool. Roasting marshmallows, we've already got that in game, but that's cool. Oh, the horses can interact with the other animals. We've got that ghost again, that's the same ghost from before, I think. So hopefully that means we do have some sort of um, law going on there. That would be really cool. Okay. Yeah, so he's just poured that. Okay, so. These sheep. Oh, right, so I did not see a single adult sheep or goat. So can they age up? I don't know. And are they going to stay babies forever? That makes no sense. Um, I do think they're probably going to work the same as um, chickens, but having the same interactions as, say, cats and dogs. They've re they've essentially just remastered, re-artworked, re-skinned the dogs. That that's all they've done. Um, unless they grow up. This is the first pack. So, the first trailer. So, 
you know, horses still talking to each other. And there it is. Take the reins, July 20th, the moment it is released. I will have already purchased it and it will be downloaded and I will be streaming. Make sure you check it out so that you don't waste your money. No one wants my wedding stories. I regret that pack so much. Um, and we all want this to be like werewolves where there's barely any glitches, <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, I'll show you guys these items because, well, I'm about to purchase it if it's available to purchase. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know down below what you think. I am, I am holding reservations because I know what the Sims are like. I know what the team is like and I know that they are so hit and miss. Sometimes it can be so fantastic and then other times it can just be like, why? why would you not just delay this so we're gonna see what happens um i will be streaming on moment of release don't waste your money have a look at the stream and if not mine look at someone else's stream i'm sure there's gonna be big youtubers that are gonna be streaming this as well so make sure you check everyone's out and make sure you're not gonna be wasting money i am super duper excited I'm super duper apprehensive. So having said that, please do like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm streaming next. And thank you to members for supporting this channel so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.